Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, looks like it's that time again. We are back with another lovely stream here. The next part of Hogwarts Legacy. Um, nice to see everybody here waiting patiently for everything to get going. With that said, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. Unless anybody's got anything to talk about. Anything new happening in your lives? Is everything good? Happy? Not happy? You've got troubles going on? You know, we could always, always, always go with it and help, help out there in the long run. You know, make sure everything's good with everybody in the world out there. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. So, well, in that case there, if everybody's doing all right, nothing new with me. I've been playing Final Fantasy 16. And Holly, you crying. I, I'm guessing everything's just going wrong then. It's all right. It gets better. I understand. Yeah, I got to get me a copy of 16, though, eventually, at some point in the future, maybe, gradually. Yeah, I'll get it, maybe. Hold on. Let me uh unmute the game here. Ooh, that sounds nice. Very nice. How much? All right, with that said, then, uh, we'll go ahead and jump right into it. Let me get right over here. Ooh. Get this here going. Go ahead and get this loaded up. Be all good and gravy. Oh my eye. My face. Everything. It's just ugh. Okay, I got several different quests there at the last minute. Last session. Magical abilities to access the next trial. Find Lodgok, the goblin. Uh, beast class, caretaker lunar, caretaker's lunar lament. Oof. Uh, travel to Hawksmead. Uh, Serona inside of three broomsticks. We get Serona. Well, I gotta get all of these done. Uh, use an invisibility potion and then use a thunder brew potion. Purchase a broom enhancement at Albi Weeks. The Helm of Erdgott. Hmm. Grow and harvest flux wheat. Looks like I gotta get flux wheat seeds. Are all three combat plants and use them simultaneously? I gotta pick up some combat plants. Uh, buy into some balloons. And let's see, this building. So it looks like I'm going to hog Hogsmeade. Here. Okay, locate on map. Go ahead and pull it up. Uh, yeah. Wait, where's, where is it at? There we go. And then just travel there. Mm, 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 mm. But thank you all for joining me today. It's always a pleasure. To sit down, chill, relax, you know. Very nice, very chill, laid back here stream. Oh. Hmm. Hold tight. I'm grabbing me a beer. The hell did I do my finger? The hell? Get that out of here. Chad, I just cut my finger on the rim of a beer bottle. The hell? I feel like I feel like a child. Shit. I can't grab anything without hurting myself. Ugh. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Hmm. I can never get this bottle cap off. Ugh. There we go. There. Done. Perfection. Done. 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 Alright. Back to the game. Here we go. Alright, where are we at? Oh, oh, chat. Gotta trim my bush. It's 
getting a little unruly here. Hmm. Oh, nice and pristine. Check it out. All right, cool. That's a clean bush. Uh, yep, gotta go in here. Purchase a broom upgrade. Hopefully, I have money. Welcome back. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. I truly appreciate all of your help. All right. Well, what are we looking for today? Thank you, sir. What do we got? Broom upgrades. A thousand? Fuck, I gotta buy fucking planters and shit and seeds? Bro, is this a discount? You insult me, sir. An enhancement increases your broom's acceleration and speed. This fucker's laughing at me. All the way to the fucking bank. Oh, I got shit. Shit, I was supposed to go get that identified. I do have all this other shit I can sell. Hold on. I guess he's twisting my arm. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. I, I doubt. 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 I must tell you, Arthur Vogsmead's been by the shop asking about rumors of a broom upgrade. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. Mm, it may nice. sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you were to test this first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? Of course. As long as you quit charging me ridiculous prices for these upgrades. What more can you tell me about the next course? It's just a jaunt from here, south of Oxmead. Beautiful mountain views. The course was designed to test flyer stamina. Some of your classmates mentioned they were headed there, eager to see what Imelda has in store. A bit surprising, considering many of them expressed reticence at the idea of racing against her at all. I hope that won't deter you, and you'll give the course a go. At least think on it. Hmm, I'll try and help, Mr. Weeks. Sounds as if you're really outdoing yourself. Mm -hmm. If I'm able to help, I will. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. Report back as soon as you can, and we'll mm. be off to the races. All right, let's see here. Off to the races, then. Well, not right now. Sheesh. I've got a million one things going on right now. The least of all I have to worry about, Professor Onai's. Wait, when did this come up? Wants me to field test the pulso on a levitated enemy. She also wants me to collect trobogies. So I would need to find and defeat a troll to complete her assignment. A field guy would not guide me through this assignment, but my map could still prove useful. Descendo. Okay, so I gotta get all of these spells eventually. So I'm um, gonna do it in here soon. Nope, not doing that one. Mm. Fire and use an invisibility potion. Fly near spires. Grow and harvest flux wheat. So I need flux wheat seed and whatever size planter that is. So, okay. Oh wait, am I level 22 now? I am level 22. Time to spend some talent on the dark arts and... I must be able to cast... to unlock this talent. Wait, how do I get that spell? Hmm. Defeating a cursed enemy restores some of your health. Nice. Awesome. Okay. And I've got to get these spells here before I can start doing them. Core. What do we got? Stupefy. Deals direct damage on impact. Releases a damaging blast that breaks enemy shields. Oh, that is nice. Um, stupefy, direct damage. That's extra damage going on. Uh, stealth, gonna skip stealth. It's not necessary. 
What is this? Strike an enemy frozen by Glacius Blast. This damaging shards outwards from the target. Wait, hold on. Dark Arts. That's. Flipendo is now treated as a curse. Arresto Momentum, treated as a curse. Crucio. Under control of Imperial curses. Curses other targets with each successful strike. Basically, my 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 slave becomes a uh, curse giving fiend. So Expelliarmus, Stupefy, and dealing damage curse targets inflicts more damage. Okay. That's always good. I've got three points. I think I'm going to hang on to them. Impacts produce fiery bolts that seek enemy targets. Okay. That one's pretty good. I'm gonna have to hold off on that though. Um, Descendo, Bombarda, Blast with a massive area of effect. Must be able to cast Bombarda. Okay, and then struck with the transformation spell, transforms into explosive objects. Wait a minute, if I get transformation, you mean, hold on. Wait, that spell? Wait, or this one? No, that's an altering spell. What the hell is a transformation spell? Is that it? Transformation, oh, okay. Shit, I forgot what I was doing. The quest. Professor Garlic's assignment. Okay, I need flux seed. Flux weed. All three plants and use them simultaneously. Okay. Mm. Alright, cool. That means I gotta go to Creeping Neep down here. I think. Hold on. Greetings. Please take your time looking about. Flux weed seed. I, I need that. Now you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Flux weed stem. Shrivel fig fruit. I think I have. I could purchase one of these. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Let me sell these. You have a good head for business, haven't you? Okay. Keep a stack shelf. Mm, gear. Gear. This one increases by 44. So it increases by one. Gotta have my belts. Or my belts. There we go. And then I sell this. Oh, it's you! What a pleasant surprise. Okay, cool. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Revelio. Oh.
<laughs> okay. I have to go down here. To the other. The other plant place. Dog, something, weed, whatever. Shit, I don't know. How is standing behind a pill? Come on in, come on in. Ooh, not so fast. You need to tread carefully in here. <gasps> Venomous tentacula. Okay, which one of these do I not have? Doors always open. You be sure to stop Shit. by soon. So I got the venom I need a mandrake and a cabbage. For a couple of cabbages. I also need that, which I can brew. And I need an invisibility. Which I can brew. Nice. Okay, so I can brew one of each of those to complete that one. And then I got one, two, three. All three of these at the same time. Okay. Then I can brew those, get those. Okay, so I just need a cabbage. What say we show you some of what's available? Cabbage and a mandrake. Yeah. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can mm. tell you'll go far. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Okay. You'll not cast successfully. Wait, one of their quests updated. Why did Professor Onai's quest update? Collect troll buggies. I've already had a troll buggy. Why was it? It didn't calculate until it popped up on screen that I had them. Hmm. Cast a pulse on a levitated enemy. That's not too hard. So that one should be easy. I could run into the woods to get that right quick. Brew those potions. And fly and get those. Yeah, speak to Serona in the three broomsticks. Okay. And that there. Okay. Cool. Wait, I need to shoot. Um I suppose office. I need Wait, where's it at? Nope, it's right here. If something threatens me, what? first thing I come. You're worrying far too much. Nobody's looking at you. Look at that boy. Why did you buy me a come second on in pair? And have a look I around. hate these socks. socks no touching. Oh lord. I'd rather have no socks than be dancing like this. What? You're not dancing. You're exercising. Sheesh. Father, why is he dancing? See? And you said the charm come out in the wash, but I it hasn't. Known someone so dramatic, just like your father. Anyone would think you had an affliction. Has he been cursed? Oh, please, can't we take these socks back to Mr. Hill and get me some when normal you pay ones? For your own socks, Wait, how do I tell shoes. if I've got the, uh, then, you'll learn to be thrifty the preview of it or, yet or not? <laughs> Wait, what? I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. <laughs> oh my god, that's got so many belts, I love it. To avoid spending a canut. Those robes are so much better. But I can't buy either one of them. So that's better. Better. Best. 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 This. This. At least for now.
I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. No, oh, whatever. Uh, I can't get any of these pieces except for the purples, and I don't want the purples. Mmm. Yeah, they're not worth it. That is. That is. Those are totally worth it. That somewhat is. That one's worth it. Like, way worth it. So. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. I've heard that our dear Clementine drew you into her butterfly escapades. Unusual girl. Still, it takes all sorts. Uh, what is this? You read it here first. It was an accident. Basilisk breeder insists Hornish Wizard arrested for breeding basilisk right has insisted that it was all simply a silly mistake. How do you mistakenly breed basilisk? Daily profit. He was taken in after a routine inspection revealed toad infestations in all five of his chicken coops. Basilisk breeding has long been forbidden by the ministry. However, due to its potency, rarity, and value of basilisk venom, it is perhaps not surprising extra, to know extra. the less rule abiding amongst us have skirted the law. As explained by a neighbor of the wizard in custody, a shrouded figure who has chosen to remain anonymous. All the latest wizarding news right here. The way to make a basilisk is by hatching a chicken egg beneath the toad. Profit. Every wizard with a wand knows that. The Cornish wizard has pleaded total ignorance as Get a defense before the wise and gummot, uh, claiming that his chicken coops are simply irresistible to toads and that it. he had no knowledge of the basilisk breeding process. His defense has met with widespread skepticism by members with the exception of Belinda Brown the of the Department of Regulation right and Control of Magical Creatures who said, I have no doubt he's that much of a moon mine. Uh, read that as Nimrod. Daily uh, we told him we are coming, didn't we? All he had to do was move the toads. Guy's an idiot. Um, hold on. There is. Rebellion. Any flapping pages anywhere? Hold on. Nope. 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 Okay. Oh yeah, in here. Wait. Talk about you. Take. Hello there. Nice to see you. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgov. <sighs> He's a friend. If, if you're watching this, whoever did the voice acting for this character, I apologize, but you sound like a man. Or a very mature boy. I'm glad to hear it. It seems as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. Mm. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't mm. seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. 
If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards, even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Hmm. Are you worried about Rookwood? You seemed unfazed by Rookwood and Harlow the other day. They don't scare you. They're bullies. Plain and simple. Never tolerated them in my own life, and certainly won't tolerate them going after my friends. Don't misunderstand me. They're dangerous wizards and shouldn't be trifled with. They should, however, be confronted and reminded, whenever possible, that the rest of us have each other's backs. What have you heard about Ranrock and Rookwood? Have you heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough, but between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said, I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. Hmm. Thank right. you, Serona. If you find Lord Gog, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. Of course. Uh, let's see. Revelio. I feel like I've gotten these before already. Guardian Leviosa. Hello there. In the market for potions. Rebellion. Hmm. What can I do for you today? Let's see, I've already got most of these ingredients myself. Yep, yep, yep. I got all of these. Okay. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Hello. Good to see you outside the castle. You too, I meet. Welcome to the Ong's Head. The empty seat is yours. Oh, the hog was talking. Okay. You look familiar. That That's not what that's for. That's a spit spit container. Hello, Lord Cock. Sorona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Hmm. Serona, trust me. Perhaps I misjudged you. Eh, Serona, trust me. Serona trusts me, and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Serona trusts you, 
Very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. This sounds like a trap. If I retrieve the relic, how do I know you'll tell me the truth about what Ranrock says? We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. Near the witch's tomb? Okay, well, I'm not doing that. Yet. Ooh, apple. <gasps> I just knocked him all on the ground. Rebellion. Guardian Leviosa. Oh shit. Uh Lumos. The hell? Oh, it's on the docks. kidding me oh you gotta be shitting me get the hell out of here oh yep there it is it's right here. nice this was this was easy enough and simple say they did not work got it okay Rebellion. Wingardium Leviosa no Accio Seed, uh, inventory. That's not grass. I need box weed seeds. Where the hell are the seeds at? Damn it. I bought one seed and I can't remember which fucking planet it goes in. The pot, the planter. Hello there. Come on in. Plenty to look at here. Hopping pot. Spell craft. Unlocks the ability to conjure a hopping pot. This type of magical little pot will periodically brew a randomly selected potion. Oh. Material refiner. Potting table with a large pot spellcraft. Large? Should I do large? Too large spot. 
two large spots. Two medium pots. No. Three medium pots. Three small pots. With five small pots. Medium potion station. I mean, does that allow me to brew more at the same time? Perfectly suited to all your potions brewing needs. Okay, so I need a large pot, just in case. Yep, this is what I want to do. This one right here. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? With three small pots, it's 400. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Nothing like finding just the right thing. Now I'm broke. Is there? All right. My first employment was at Honey Jeeps. Stock girl I was. Wait. I'm gonna put on upgrades. Gear, inventory, blue. Or did it auto put it on there? I think it auto put it in there. Inventory, no. Gear. something there's no telling what lies in wait for me in there oh yeah I thought I already unlocked this Lumos. No. Expelliarmus. Confringo. Accio. Leviosa. Hmm. This place has seen better days. Oh, yeah, I've already done this one. Okay.
haven't a clue why there's such a fuss over the place. Sit on the next part. Okay. So I gotta brew those two. Alright, cool. Looks like it's back off the. Wait, no, there was another quest I needed to do over here. Also on a levitated enemy. Okay. Is this your best? The pulsar. Yes. You may want to move. Protego. Stupefy. Good. No. No. Stupefy. Glacius Incendio Expelliarmus Confringo Nice No, it's because I was climbing up on a wall. The hell? Didn't I already get this butterfly thing? Maybe. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because it let it like right over here. Okay, yeah, I did get it. I did get it. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know what this game's going on about. I should have these quests then. Okay. So back to Hogwarts. I test and see what's better. Of course, this is better. Change, and I need my belts. Okay. Map. Pulling up the map. the witch's tomb I don't I don't want to go to the witch's tomb wait no hold on Hogwarts map there we go Ten divination. Okay. I need to go to the room requirement first. Let's go there. 
room of requirement go 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 into the room of requirement it requires me to go to the room of requirement of course it always does always does at the last minute let me get a potion brewing this one all that take a minute 30 seconds all right well that's brewing i'm gonna set up some more shit here we go uh we're going to wait what spell is that now nope, there we go herbology three small plants planters There we go. Large scientific botanical eclectic and gothic. I'm gonna go with gothic. Two there. Throw in large pots. Gotcha. Fifteen minutes and he yields five. Sheesh. I guess we'll do double the flux weed. any leaves medium or large pots that's a shrivel thing eh. under brew and what else do I need to make invisibility potion so like okay I've got these things. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Celtic Glister Scarf. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Gear. Nice. Increased damage with your ancient magic throw. still best or the house one that's fine I go with that one combat this one to be 40 spiders anti venom one and officer's hat take for these to grow oh shit okay let me go attend divination wait what is this over here great hall murky depths is sitting on a dog's by howard's boathouse i should go speak with her 
appearances. Uh, I don't know about all that. Now come back to it. What is that? What is she? Okay, yes. Attend that. Go there. Yes. Get it done. Get it done. There's always so much to do. So much to see. I still don't know what's wrong with taking the back seats. However, Just wait like everybody else. You can advance time by accessing. Wait, what? Hold on. Let me track this quest. Uh -huh. This is some bullshit. Have a montage. like a planet hmm. I have an interesting theory about divination in Harry Potter not necessarily a theory or a fan theory it's somewhat proven uh, prophecies all of them are actually self-fulfilling depending on whichever person wants to believe that they apply to them such as voldemort's whole prophecy of there be the kid that deals with him later on in life oh i forgot the exact prophecy wording on it but basically he self-fulfilled it because he went and took out the fucking kid that was supposed to be the one ended Every up creating the one course. because he missed the trip to. this is the first year my siblings and I oh. that's the only reason why that prophecy came to fruition if he had not done anything if Voldemort had not acted that night and done anything he would have prevented the prophecy she says it's the best common room on account of it being so quiet compared to the others I mean oh. that poor first year trying to get into the Gryffindor common room I swear that I I'll be unrivaled at the next course. I hope those assignments were challenging enough for you. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Renoi. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come. What do you see in your own future? Based upon the knowledge that one's present, even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come because it's cause and effect. You're not seeing the possibility of a future. You're seeing the possibility of future based on choices and actions that you have made. 
Um, yeah, a computer can do that. AIs can do that. In fact, they explored it in Fallout 4 through Pam. Pam was a special assault tron model that they used to make what they called a predictive analysis machine. It was basically took current real world events and data and predicted several different outcomes and which one's most likely to be the best course of action. action. That's how they knew that the Chinese were going to attack three years in advance before the bombs fell. But because it was a machine that predicted it, they thought it was faulty and didn't want to believe it. So, I see power. I see good things. After all, the future's mine for the taking. And I shall take what I must. Hmm. The future is not etched in stone. It can be carved out by those with very strong wills. And you do seem to possess one. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. Channel your magic towards your targets. Descendo. You have it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to get rid of this. Hm. Now, why not practice the new spell on the training dummy? Levioso, Descender. Excellent. I think you have it. The hell? <laughs> That was weird. All right, cool. Well, okay. There, done. That's done. I need a brew and a visibility potion. Oh, that's right. I forgot to set that up. Shit. Um. All right, cool. Let me here go to the map. Room of requirements. Uh, secret areas. Room of requirement. Go. Brew my invisibility potion. Then I got to use those in combat. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Oh, I've already brewed it. I was efficient. Yeah, going through the potions. Ah, get it? Going through the motions. Ah, ha, ha. Okay, well, I got those. Got those. I need to make more of those. I can make a couple more of those. Make another station. I could, I could, indeed, I could. I'm thinking with portals.
What's the next potion I need to do for her? Hold on. Oh shit, uh, quest. Grow and harvest flux weed. Okay. So yeah, four minutes on that. Okay. Too bad. Not too, too bad. Let's say 13 and 16 still. Did the ingredients not even go down for that? Oh, I can't make that anymore. Mm. I can make that. Still. just misread it last time maybe 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 not i don't know anymore i gave up
Hmm. My two wheel slots are full. Oh, I can't grab this potion. Is that the mags I can have? 12. Well, I'll be a monkey zongle. I do declare. Hmm. Alright, cool. Flex me stems. But I'm gonna leave those there. I need to go to quests. Use an invisibility potion. Why use a thunder brew potion on an enemy? Okay, Professor Garlic's assignment. Return Professor Garlic. Okay, on map, and then I can just fast travel there easily, directly to the greenhouses, and be efficient. And get her done. Yep, yep, yep. So. Apparently, Marion Reed was having a difficult. Oh, wait, hold on. Where's she at? Oh. I adore the Hamlet's medication. Revelio. a hybrid bouncing tentacular i finished the activities you assigned me professor garlic wonderful i hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives i am forever enraptured by it just yesterday i spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes didn't realize how long i'd been at it until the sun began to set well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flippendo? Chin up, keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. Mm. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing as mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few pots. Wonderfully done! If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do so here in the greenhouse. With Pindo. Mind Expelliarmus! Please? Flipendo! Professor, I was wondering where you're from. What's your background? Oh, how nice of you to ask. Well, let's see. I grew up in London. Violet right shield charms by flipping targets upside down. Well, I expected a foamer. Forgive me. I was sure you must have been raised in the countryside. I used to dream of just that. But it wasn't until I came to Hogwarts that I felt truly at home. Mind you, it did take some time. And whilst it is my fervent hope that each student eventually feels as at home here as I do... It is not always the case. I suppose that makes sense. Well, we each bloom differently, don't we? Some of us, like Devil's Snare, thrive in the shadows, whilst others crave the attention of a bouncing bowl. And we each grow and thrive according to our own plan. Oh, I was terribly nervous when I arrived at the castle. You see, as a child, I knew nothing of witches or wizards. You can imagine how astonished I was to receive my letter from Hogwarts. I spent a good deal of time alone in either the greenhouse or the library my first days here. It takes some getting used to. It does take a while to adjust to being here. Precisely, and I was remarkably fortunate. 
In fact, a seventh year took me under her wing during those first days. She remains one of my dearest friends. How fortunate. I was indeed. I dare say you'll find that the friends you make here at Hogwarts will last a lifetime. Now, I'd best get to my recent delivery from the Magic Neep. Mr. Teasdale promised me quite an assortment of seeds this week. Lovely to see you. Okay. I can't see shit. Alright. What do we got? Quests? Hold on. That's a sharp assignment. So I gotta go do that. Do that. Oh, it's way the hell down here. Right? Or is it over here? What is this? There, it's right there. What the hell? Yeah, let's travel. And then I can test enemies, take the potion, and then test Thunderbrew on them. Although, Thunderbrew potion doesn't quite make sense to me. Like, how am I going to drink a potion that causes a lightning storm to attack other people? Okay, well. Here I am. Flying, flying, flying. Ooh, maybe I can get these knocked out of the way too. Ba -ba -ba. Oh shit. Ooh. No. Looks like I can't fly straight. What are those wolves? Are those Ashwinder eggs? I see. Hold on. Ashwinder eggs. Where's the Ashwinders? If I found their eggs. Well, that's a good AoE potion to have on file. It's basically call lightning. I drew its use in second edition or not second edition, uh, Dungeons and Dragons. I think it's in third, 3.5, fourth, and fifth edition. Maybe in second edition? I can't remember. I didn't play a druid in second ed. Okay, here we go. Shit, missed it. Oh, there's a Merlin trial. There we go. Could it be a Merlin trial? Nice. Listen, I hold that sounded like one massive bendy window. <laughs> okay. 
Let's see here. What do I have? Oh, snap. Rebellion. I gotta find little balls. Oh, there we go. Hold on. Akio. Um. Depulsa. Alright, there we go. Alright. Wait, where's the rest of them? What? Hold on. Oh, here we go. Man, where were the... Oh. Akio. Get that one. <gasps> it's a pretty owl. Oh, it flew away. Rebellion. Okay, so this one's over here. Where are the orbs for it? Oh, here we go. Akio. Tricky after all. Mm, got it. Nice. Rebellion. Okay, um... Oh, I gotta do her other flying shit. foot got tangled up. Hmm. 
Oh, that's if I let go of the button so I can recharge my stand. Following the butterflies, butterflies, butterflies. Oh wait, this is it. Okay. Protego. Nope, oh, wrong button. Ornamental stands. Hmm. All right, that was that puzzle. Uh, map. Nope. Quest. Just go to quest. Return to Professor Shiro. Okay. Return to Madame Kagawa. Okay. And then... She only need four of those left. Sweeping the competition. Imelda Riaz. Awesome. see two he'll you for a greater effect I'll probably get that next um I'm gonna go with that there what have I collected exploration lickety swift room Fire broom. Huh, okay. Hmm. Right, map. Map. Hogwarts map. Adapagawa. Travel there. Get it done.
Welcome back. Have you finished? Reporting back, Professor. Assignment's all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Precise, deliberate movements. Peace kick, peace crumb kick. Very good. I recommend practicing your new spell as much as possible. Perhaps before you leave here. Arresto momentum. That's it. Keep it up. Professor, hmm. do you have a moment? Yes, what is it? Toyahashi Quidditch team. In class, I heard you mention the Toyahashi Quidditch team. I did. The Toyohashi Tengu are from Japan. Dominant, known for their rigorous training. They practice near the Mahutokoro School of Magic, often battling both tempestuous seas and violent storms in addition to each other. Tournament play is almost always easier for the Tengu than their training sessions. I take it you're a fan. Fan? <laughs> I was being groomed to play on their team. And I would have been a Tengu, if not for a bit of bad luck. Surely skill would overcome bad luck. If you were that good, I can't believe a bit of bad luck could end your entire Quidditch career. I was excellent. My ability on a broom had nothing to do with what happened. I was betrayed by someone I trusted. Myself. I did not see clearly, and I paid a dear price. My best friend Asuka and I were being groomed to play on the team together. I as keeper, and she as chaser. She was breathtaking. Oh, hello, she Nami. Was nice to see you there, sir. And scored before they even turned their heads. Welcome back. Always but nice to see for the familiar team faces closer, around here. She panicked. I did not realize the extent of her panic until it was too late. She wanted so desperately for both of us to play together that she had slipped Felix Felicis into our tea before we were to show them our skills. I'm not sure what that is. What is Felix Felicis? A potion? Also known as liquid luck. And it is illegal in all wizarding sports. I knew within minutes that Hi, something was doing? different. I had never played so well. And Asuka was playing more beautifully than I had ever seen. When I confronted her afterwards, she admitted what she had done. I withdrew from consideration immediately. But it wasn't your fault. You didn't know about the potion in the tea. It does not matter. My flying that day was not my own. I could not live with myself. So... I withdrew and explained to them why. I burned my broom in disgrace. What happened to Asuka? Did she burn her broom as well? Asuka played for the Tengu for two seasons. You didn't report her? Tell them what she'd done? Her fate was not mine to decide. My fate is in my hands, as your fate is in yours. Thank you, Professor. I shall remember what you've told me. So she ended her entire career, what she wanted to do, all because of what her friend did. In a sense of honor. It sounds like she cheated herself out of a better life. Out of sheer stupidity. Yeah, she ain't no snitch. But she ruined her own life because of it. 
well, not because she didn't snitch. She ruined her own life because she felt like she cheated when she didn't even commit the cheat. If that makes sense. Well, I guess I can't. Wait, ooh, I can go in there. What is that here? Oh, no, garbage. Rebellion. Anything in here? Uh, let's quit his locker room. Turn to Professor Sharp. He's over in potions. There, travel. Have you finished your assignments? I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Hmm. Oh, went perfectly well, Professor. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Hmm. And done. If and no. Hmm. Very good. Uh, okay. And that of everyone else. The window. It's a pleasure to have a student who actually heeds instruction. Nice. Got it. This is hardly the place. Professor Sharp, do you have a moment? Depends on how you intend to use it. Huh. Damn. Shit. Get off fucking ass. Dick. Sheesh. May I ask you about your time as an aura? I saw an aura badge on your desk and was wondering if you could tell me more about your time as an aura. Hmm. Observant. I suppose I could indulge you for a moment. Spent years tracking down reprobates who dealt in artifacts of dark magic origin. Sounds exciting. That sounds positively exhilarating. Exhilarating? Hmm. It was at that. While it lasted, at any rate, I enjoyed a great deal of success as an aura. However, success can make one complacent if one's confidence is not tempered by humility. One overstep in battle changed everything. May I ask what happened? Yes, well, I suppose it's a matter of record. My partner and I had tracked a suspect to a harbor in Scarborough, trying to smuggle shrunken heads of all things. I had deduced that he was working alone. I was mistaken, and they knew we were coming. From the moment we stepped onto the ship, well, I barely escaped with my life. My partner wasn't so lucky. I, I suppose being an aura is dreadfully dangerous. I'm sorry. <sighs> it is that. But survival is not guaranteed for any of us. Pay attention. And not just within my class. This is what I must impress upon you all. A potion and a poison may be a mere breath apart. Until you consume the wrong one. Well said, Professor. Hmm. Okay, well that's done, that's done. Uh, what quest do I have next?
Yeah, that's that one and then hold on, I go down to the boot. Yeah. Yep. The boot house. No, what the hell? Am I gonna wait for her? Shit. Oh, shit. Uh. Going for a swim? Goodness, no. Though I'm beginning to think I really should learn how to swim. Can't very well be liaison to the mer people if I don't know how to swim. You're a liaison to the mer people? Technically, no, at least not yet. The position doesn't actually exist at the moment, but I have a plan to change that. I'm Nerida, by the way. Nerida Roberts. We didn't officially meet, but we jeweled in the Crossed Ones Club. Yes, of course. Good to see you again. And you. You seem quite interested in my people. I am. And they're as misunderstood and disregarded by wizard kind as goblins and centaurs are. I feel that if goblins and centaurs have liaison officers at the ministry, then the mer people should have one too. Fair point. I think you're wasting your time. I think what you're doing is admirable. I'm impressed. I think reaching out to the mer people is a grand idea. You do? Oh, thank you. Of course, I haven't exactly done anything just yet. I presented them with a gift a few weeks ago, and they wanted to leave me one as well, in one of their caves. Reciprocity and an offer to visit. I tried telling them I couldn't swim, but I'm afraid that bit got lost in translation. Mermish really is tricky. Tell me about Wizard Kind's relationship with mer people. How has Wizardkind fallen short in its treatment of Mer people? Well, we've consistently deigned Mer people as being beneath us despite the many similarities between our cultures. One can hardly blame them for declining being status by the Ministry years ago. Who are we to classify those of such beauty and intelligence? What about a liaison to the Mer people? What would a liaison to the Mer people do? What do you imagine a liaison to the Mer people would do? Oh, yeah. so many things. I want to know everything I can about them. After I've mastered swimming, I perfect my Mermish, of course, and I'd share with them anything they wanted to know about wizard kind. My hope is that by understanding each other better, both of our societies could grow. What's so interesting about Mer people? What is it about the Mer people that interests you so much? I can't begin to tell you how brilliant they are. I mean, rumor is that tales about them have infiltrated even the muggle world. The oldest known mer people, sirens, come from Greece. And of course, Scotland has selkies and Ireland is home to Merrows. I could go on for ages about them. Their glorious underwater communities, domestication of sea life, their art and music. It's a travesty how little is understood about them. Hmm. I can help you. Well, I can swim and could help you if you'd like. You'd really do that? Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. The last thing I want is for them to think I'd shunned their gift. Diplomacy is a delicate dance. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think you can dive down to their cave from just there in the water. I can't wait to hear about what you find. One day soon, I'll see for myself. I just know it. Well. Oh, I can't, can't change that if I'm swimming. Hmm. Interesting. Dive, dive. Look at this place. Did the Mer people really leave Narada an artifact?
Hmm. Ironic. Lumos. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Hold on. Good Fringo. Lumos. Now then, I'll need you to come with me. I can only do one at a time? Oh, that's ridiculous. Now for the rest of you. Uh. Lumos. What do we have in here then? Naruto will be happy about this. Oh, is that one of their... I think that's an amulet that auto-translates. Which will be nice. Alright, cool. Hold cool. it. from the mer people was exactly where they said it would be oh that's wonderful news i was so worried i'd left it too long and they'd seen it as a slight our relationship with them is already so tenuous hmm happy to have help enjoy your gift and i'm glad we helped to foster some healthy diplomatic relations merlin's beard it's marvelous i'm going to show it to everyone including the ministry should I hand deliver or send by owl? Thank you again so much. You may have just helped improve relations between wizard kind and mer people for decades to come. I can't wait to study this. Nice. Cross wands was so much fun, wasn't it? Twenty-three. All right, cool. Hold on. I need talents talent points where am i at have a new gear uh got two talent points there slow and curse same effect as a curse on enemies curse enemies take increased damage Target inflicts damage to all cursed targets. Okay. Let's see here. So slow and curse. Rebellion. 
I would have put a page right there. Damn. Can I switch tonight? Yes. Arrest the momentum. Lumos. Reparo. Wingardium Leviosa. Hmm. Okay, maybe it's none of those. Revelio. See, there's that. It just lit up. Okay. Hmm. Maybe, hold on. Let me switch up. Put that there, and then... Then Levioso can go there. And then... Rest of Memento can go there. So I have all my curses right up front there. So, curse... Curse, curse, and then stupefies a curse. Right? Yeah, yeah talents, what's all considered a curse? Stupefy. Oh, wait, no. Stupefy. Expelliarmus. A flipendo, a rest of momento. Yep, okay, so one, two, three, and then fourth ability there. Yeah, curse effects remains on an enemy for a long period of time, for a longer period of time. And then once I kill a cursed enemy, it does that there. And then dealing damage to a cursed target and place damage to all cursed targets. So I got boom, 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 three different ones. Start doing damage to one, it affects all of them. Once they all die, I gain health back. Nice. Save with talent point, just in case. Alright, back. No, wait, no, I need it. Quest. No, not map. Quest. Sweeping competition. Okay, we're show a map. Where's that at? Back. Is it over here? Where is it at? Oh no. Oh, it's way the fuck down here. Sheesh. Huh. It's an ancient magic hotspot right there. Let me go check it out. Then I go down there and take care of Imelda. Some racing stuff with balloons or rings in the sky. It's always nice. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Uh, no shit, because it is a place right out of a storybook.
Wait, where is it at? Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Wait, did I not get it? What the hell? Wait, what the fuck? The hell? No, oh, don't tell me it bugged out on my ass. It bugged out on my ass. God damn it. to do this could prove dangerous if I'm not careful I've used the dark art several times can't understand why more damage <clears throat> Enter there while mounted. What the hell? What was it? You come to the wrong place, child. Oh, I can't go up there mounted. What the hell? Here we are. Mr. Weeks wasn't wrong about the mountain views. If it isn't the second best Slytherin. <laughs> Shut up, ho. Damn. I ain't got time for your nonsense. What do you want? Hello, Imelda. So, another trial? Of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. I am. Change your mind about me. Scared every... Scared everyone else away. So, what? You finally scared everyone else away? <laughs> oh, I have plenty of challengers. They're just not very good. No one sets records by wishing for them. And I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? Strong competition. Strong competition? Could that have been a compliment, Amelda? Go ahead, believe what you want. It makes no difference. Compliments make people soft. No one goes around telling me I did a fine job. Do I care? No. I say I'm the best, and that's all I need. So please, try to beat my record, fifth year, and don't be disappointed when you lose. Okay. Well, let's go. I'm ready to fly. Finally, a decent challenge. Hmm. 
made it. Oh shit. Oh god. Excellent. Pull up, pull up. Pull up. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Shit. Bubbles. And she needed the two minutes and twenty six seconds. She's slow as fuck. Oh God, no! I missed it. Sheesh! What a fish that was acceptable. one of the rings damn it exit did i beat all the records you've improved i must admit that was a bloody good run be careful earn a reputation for talent around here and some people get put out about it sounds like you're speaking from experience yes well i am anyway you didn't do abysmally i can't deny that but You'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. Hmm. Who's been put out by your talent? You said your reputation for talent put some people out. Like whom? Like <sighs> whom? If you must know, I've had to deal with jealousy from members of our house. When we were first years, Nerida Roberts and I spent loads of time on our brooms, pledged to fly every day. As my skill on a broom grew, rapidly I might add, Nerida suddenly didn't have time for flying practice. I tried to give her pointers, but she didn't have the natural ability I did. Clearly, she was jealous. Her thing spends all her time now dawdling by the lake, obsessed with mer people. Won't even learn to swim. I refuse to downplay my talents to coddle someone else's fragile ego. <sighs> anyway, I need to ready the next course. Stop by when it's ready. If you can handle it. Um, I think she's missing signals here. She's so self-absorbed. She thinks everything evolves around her or evolves, revolves around her. Well, same thing. Evolve, revolve. Um, she fails to see that other people have fucking lives too. So we shall see. We'll see, won't we? Till next time. I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial, if you don't lose your nerve. Right, to race this course again, visit the podium with the leaderboard, where you can start the race and check your time. Hmm. I don't see your time Another on here, Another successful flight. I should let Mr. Weeks know. Hmm. Report to Weeks. Honestly, I think these race things are just meant to present trials or uh, get you to reveal the map. Uh, yes, travel. Travel. Hmm. South side course.
<laughs> Back from your latest flight. I want to hear all the particulars. Okay. Mr. Leak, with your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. It does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, oh, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. Thank you again, truly. Nice. Mr. Weeks. Wait, what? Ah, Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. What is under here? Scarf. Oh. It's no better. And I've got 22 gold. Wait. Hmm. Quests. Looks so like it's to that one. And then a 10 beast class after that. World map. Where's all the spare quests? World map. There's probably a bunch there. Hogwarts. power yeah let's travel there see what a spot of ancient power is see if the other one just bugged out on me or if something weird is going on with it so i think the other one bugged out i think mysterious and a bit unsettling what to do um I have no idea what that just did. Um, what? Oh, there's a second one. And a third one. That wasn't so difficult. Oh, so there's more. And what did I do? Increase my ancient meter. Ancient meter. Ancient magic what? meter, I think. I don't know. Hmm. Why do I get stuck 
for these assignments. Expelliarmus, defend us. Arrest their momentum. Protego! Uh, Incendio! Hmm. Expulso! <laughs> Are you even trying? Expulso! Incendio! <laughs> That doesn't help. Oh, that's that's Thought you had me there. Exposo. That's well. Stupefy. Is that all they're teaching in school these days? Protego. Rookwoods don't go down easy. Incendio. Hmm. Exposo. No, I've already done this one. Fight waves of enemies in this battle arena and the unforgivable curses. With the unforgivable curses, as well as the blasting curse configure, in addition to their unique and devastating effects, unforgivable curse curses break through all shield charms. Wait, do I unlock them doing that? Maybe? I don't know. In the meantime... Here. I gotta go meet... A goblin. Right over here? Right? No, there's a page. Rebellion. Hmm. What is this? Oh, moving. Nice. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Oh, it's moths. There we go. Lumos. Potato Stupefy Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, where are the butterflies? Butterflies, I need the butterflies. Where are they? Oh, Ashwinder eggs. Wait a minute, here are the eggs for the Ashwinder. Where the hell is the creature for? Oh, here we go. Lumos. Yeah. 
This man and Charles won't get the best of me. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Alright, where's the, the goblin? Hold on. Quest. Oh, he's right up there. Okay. I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Ertgot. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind see things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. Is that it? No more conversation. It looks like we got a little ways to go still. You could have added more dialogue. Hmm. Hmm. So tell me, chat. How do you tell when a dag joke becomes a dad joke? When it leaves for cigarettes and doesn't come back. <laughs> Dear Lord, you were all the talk in the town and at the beginning of this walk. Now I can't get you to say a single word. What do, what do you got going on, sir? Sir, talk. Uh, key note to anybody out there that is in game development, if you're going to have an escort quest, make sure you fill that entire time with dialogue or something action-y going on to draw attention to the current events. Otherwise, just walking here like this is boring. Ah, and there it is. The witch's tomb. Dreadful looking place, isn't it? I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? Why is the helmet valuable? What about this helmet makes it so special? The helmet of Ertgot is an ancient and storied relic, forged during a time of unity among the goblin clans. It inspired greatness, that is, until it was no longer ours. Then it became something else. A symbol of what has been lost, of all that wizard kind has taken from us. Reclaiming it would mean a great deal to goblin kind and to Ranrock. He would be grateful to me should I return it. So, tip, developers. These questions right here, in that time it took for us to walk to get here, that gap where there was nothing going on, no dialogue, these questions could have been asked on the walk 
to fill the player in on what's going on and receive more information. And then once we get here, we can immediately go right into the tomb without having to worry about what all these questions are. It seems Ranrock and Rookwood are conspiring. Why would that be? I, I had see. heard this. When the dark-hearted conspire, they seldom make their full intentions clear to one another. I can only speculate, but I imagine their alliance is uneasy and quite fragile. Let us hope that ours is less so. What might I encounter in the tomb? Don't suppose you have any idea what could be waiting for me inside the tomb? Considering a dark witch was involved, I suppose there's a chance you may encounter the dark protectors, known as Inferi. The foul creatures thrive on darkness and the cold. Vanquish them with light, force, and most effectively, fire. Hmm. I'm ready. It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. Please, be careful. Enter. Enter the tomb. Hmm. Hold on. I've got a thigh cramp. Hold on. Ugh. Mm. Oof. Nope. 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 That's not gonna work either. Never mind. False alarm. Oh, the auto light. Auto lighting torches. Revelio. Oh, it's sealed. It's like I need a butterfly, which is right oh, over here. Curious. Dun dun dun. Revelio. Merlin's beard. Hmm. Nah, that's garbage. Can't be the witch's tomb. Likely, I need to go further. Lumos. Nice, nice. Okay, cool. Clicked all the goodies. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion. I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Nope. In theory. They are undead. Oh shit, wrong one. Expelliarmus. Kinfringo! You quick. They're suddenly persistent. Good Franklin. You. Yep. 
Oh, me? Eesh. Keep forgetting I gotta set him on fire first before I can do anything to them. Rebellion. Depulsor. Hmm. Rebellion. Huh. There is a chest up there. How do I get to it? Huh. Yeah, it's more like a tomb. Huh. Wait, then how do I get? Up there. Lumos. Hmm. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. Wingardium Leviosa. Repair room. This has a moth imprinted on it. The same as the door. Wait, how do I get up here though? that easy huh all right all right all right I need to get a loom soon Rebellion. all right there ain't nothing in here got it all chat got it all ain't nothing else in there now let's let the do now is to get the last butterfly Lumos. our last moth Is this the right way? Is this no, that's the right way. So this is extra bonus over here. Hmm. 
Let's see. Akio. Wingardium Leviosa. Need to get that platform closer. But how? Rebellion. Depulso. No, I need it. Akio. Wingardium Leviosa. Was that it? Was that all I needed to do? The hell Rebellion. else is in here? There are so much more bones. Akio. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa Accio Wingardium Leviosa Is there nothing else in here? Really? Peace cake. Peace crumb cake. Okay. Simple as that. Time to get out. Sheesh. What's that hanging there? Looks precarious. Down I go. No other way. Depulsor. <laughs> Rebellion. It's sealed shut from the other side. So does that mean up there? This is here. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. Okay, so... Is it something down here? Here we go. Rebellion. Accio. And done. 
Okay. Oof. Oh, it is thundering here, chat. That might be a storm. Rebellion. Confringo. Incendio. Protego. Stupefy. What the hell? Well, shit. Wasn't paying attention to my health. But I can't, ex you know, extend out my health bar. Nope. And now it is raining. Which is good. We needed that. Rebellion. Expelliarmus. Good for you. No oh, shit. Incendium. Defender. Get out of there. Get out of the corner. What the hell? That's a nasty, nasty storm. Oh, it's just no chat. If the power goes out, I'll try my best to get everything back up and running. Just to let you know. It's done. Right. Uh Shit, more of them? God damn. Kidding me. Uh, 
Ugh. Rebellion. Have something to do with that? Devolso. Devolso. Hmm. Lumos. Devolso. That's some bullshit. This looks even more complex. Hmm. At least I got more shit to sell. Lumos. Uh, where is the door? Wait. I don't even know where the door is. Hold on. Oh, and that put it back up there. Where the hell does it go? Ugh. Wingardium Leviosa. Wait, no one. To Bolsa. No, there's where it goes. Okay. Lumos. Wingardium Leviosa. <sighs> Revelio. To Lumos. Making this spin ought to raise that plus. Uh, that yeah. must be it. Uh. Depulso. Lumos. There we go. So that's one, two. Wait, how am I gonna get the last one in? gonna get the last one in what that's a good question Lumos to Bolso Lumos Just a second, chat. I I've need got to, to bring to the moths bathroom. to the door. Yes, I know. Moths to the door. I'm trying to figure it out. Hold tight. I'll be right back, chat.
we are in chat. So I'm gonna take a moment to read here. It's a storm and damn just thunder. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Oof. Okay, this puzzle. I'm gonna get it. Hmm. I have an idea. Hold on. Let me get the other one. Lumos. Okay. Let me get familiar with this. 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 Depulsor. Lumos. What? And immediately leaves, so I don't have a chance to get the other one. Unless I. Can I get more than one? No, it goes... Wait, where did that one go back to? It went back to over there. Reparo. Oh, wrong button. God damn it. Hey, hold on. Lumos. Revelio. No, wrong button. Um. Hmm. Depulso. Wait a minute. You have to be kidding me. Hold on. Which butterfly went back to that? Okay, hold on. Depulso. Lumos. Repairo. No, I'm supposed to jump up. God damn it, hit the wrong button. <laughs> that one Depulso Lumos Okay, so I got that one. How do I get the third one? Ugh. Wait, hold on. Revelio. Descend on. Devolso. Lumos. Hmm. That immediately cuts off Lumos. And then I can't jump out there. Christ. How do I get the third one up there? Let me go back up. Revelio. Eh, wrong button. 
Depulsor. Lumos. Wait, you gotta be fucking shitting me. Hold on. Get down there. Man, that's some bullshit. Rebellion. That's some bullshit, chat. The witch's final resting place. Lodgok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. Confringo. Dead Ashwinder. Your compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Lodgok won't like this. Better show this to Lodgok. Rebellion. No. There must be some sort of mechanism for this doorway. Now you just wave the wand and it works. So that's that's it then. Hold on. Where did this take me? Further north, I presume. Lord Gok, the sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. Very well. I'll go. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. Good. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. Wait, I think I've already beat this camp. I did. I beat the shit out of this camp. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Down easy. Expulso. Momentum. Expelliarmus. Yeah. Blupender. Yeah. There they are. The Ashwinders. <laughs> You're easier to spawn than an irrelevant. Oh shit. Aha! Back for more. Incendio! Arrest them. Had enough. Yeah. You've made a grave mistake. You will pay for your deed. Flipendo. Good job, aren't you? Knew you were still hanging about. Oh, shit. Expulsion! Ah. Expulsion! Get 
Shit, I was a waste. Marvelous strike. Protego. Avoiding our problem. Arrest the momentum. Barely felt anything. Death from above. Wasn't so bad. I gotta make more potions now. Sheesh. Rebellion. It. This is for Rookwood. Somebody out there? No, Lord. Trapendo. I'm just warming up. Trapendo. Great. Easy too. Revelio. Is that a door or two? Oh no, that's a Merlin trial. I don't trust Landrock. I'll tell you that. He'll turn on us first chance he gets. When we're done here, Defender. Okay. Well, perhaps I'll just go now. Let me see here. Yeah, okay, so. When they see me coming, and rightfully so. Oh shit, I gotta. Propendo! I've raided rocks more times than I can count. They're incapable of defending themselves. Alright, uh. Could just rotate it sideways. Propendo. Hmm. 
open. There we go. Nope, there we go. Down there. What? In that case, there should be... Expelliarmus! Did you hear that? Don't do uh. that! Flipendo! Arrest them! Is this Hogwarts best? <laughs> You've made a great mistake! Got him. It was cake. No one to share in my victory. No. Oh. Propendo. Merlin himself will be proud. Nice. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done! This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks like a helmet. It is stunning. It looks stunning, Rodgok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, then I am glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Hmm. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Complete main quest. Okay. Done and done. Done. Absolutely fabulous. Alright, cool. So, next main quest. What do we got? There's more side quests at Hogwarts? What? There's always side quests at Hogwarts. It's in Beast Class, right? Yep, Beats class is next. But there are more. What is it that I'm looking for? Side quests in Hogwarts now. At least I think there is. Secret rooms? No. There's nothing in the map chamber. Room of requirements. Let's see if there's anything in there. Okay, so, and as far as the Dillion keys go, I need four. I can't pick it up. What? I can get Fuck Seed. But I can't pick that up. Shit. Alright, cool. Whatever. I do what I want. Yeah, that was a waste. I don't care. I wanted to get free them up so I can make more health potions. Mm -hmm. 
three, two, one, interact. Select there. Okay. Three, one, go. Two more made, that was one there, and then this one here. Okay. I wish they were next door to each other. Let's see, is there any way of this I can make? Make more of those. No, I can't because I can't pick them up. Focus. Reduces the drinker spell cooldowns. Nuts. I could make a couple of those. Now those are a full minute? What? Yeah. Yeah, let's go with that. And it's in me. There. Okay. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Okay. World map. No, 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 not world map. Hogwarts map. What quest is that? The caretaker's lunar lament. And then the other quest is beast class. I think I'm going to go to beast class first and then do the other one. Then I get Aloha Mora, which would be great. Um, yes. Travel. Go to beast class and see what is there for the beasties. The beast, the beast, the beast. Oh, shoot. I was supposed to go to the identify deal let me do that right quick all these loading screens i'm so sorry oof wait where's it at there it is what? nothing to identify for now at least what here. Hmm. Oh, this sucks. What this? Hold on. No, no. That is level twenty-four. Now I'm saving the ones out. That was a waste. Back here, then to beast class. Wait, hold on. Where's it at? Oh, it's over here. How did I not get that already? Wait, wait. Move the beans. Move the rice. It is Maria. 
Begin quest, okay. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. Is that a dodo? They are all in their own way dodo. dangerous. Especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy. Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! <laughs> Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> hmm. You can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant oh thoughts. Oh my god. I like to think it enriches his experience. I get to take care of Beast? Oh my god, this game is so amazing. It's like Pokemon, but like better. Nah, it ain't better than Pokemon, I'm joking. Although some people would have would assume it is look at there oh that's amazing all right cool oh that's lovely i'm sure he feels much better oh it's so cute look I at think it he might be hungry would you mind giving him some beast feed beast feed Now I gotta assign this to this shit. The hell? Uh, Y'all are messing up all my flows. What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition. And cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way. The measles are over here. and the easel whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least enough to buy something from honey jukes <laughs> oh, stupid thing oh. what in Merlin's name are you doing oh, tush tush peculiar poppy worried about a worthless little rodent her name is Persephone! <laughs> Her name is Persephone! <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. It's it's not that wasn't funny at all. Like I could see if it was a good witty comeback or a joke or something that was actually funny. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. That wasn't even funny. Coaches in training. Mm. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. <laughs> the measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. No. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. I'm still feeding these cats, okay? These measles. Okay, I've, I got one more. There we go. There you go. And he's fed. Oh, it's cute babies. 
Okay. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast lesson? I enjoyed it. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts? Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Hmm, nice. Psst, psst. Over here. The hell? What does this little Hufflepuff girl want? Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. <gasps> is it a unicorn? You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you. I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. <sighs> Quite the weather we're having. Don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Well, can you hurry it up? Because, uh, yeah. Don't worry. We're nearly there. It's just ahead. You said in the forest. We're nowhere near the forest. Stand back. Is it a griffin? Or a hippogriff. Yeah, it's a hippogriff. Please meet High Wing. Isn't she just magnificent? Go on, introduce yourself to her. But be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. Bow. I knew it. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. Yay! I fed the hippogriff.
So, what did you think of High Wing? She was brilliant. I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and Highwing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. Hmm. Everything. That sounds suspicious. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. Would be good to investigate. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Yay! It's completed! And I'm still not level 24 yet? What the hell? Wait, what's in here? I don't even know. Huh. Rebellio. Case. Where is the next quest? Main quest. Since that's where I'm at right now. Find out what Gladwin Moon wants. Uh, locate on map. Is that it? Hold on, right there. Oh, yes, perfect. Right there. Travel. Grand staircase. Fascinating. Fascinating, really. Hmm. Wait. Wait. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. Mm -hmm. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not! Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. 
In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. <laughs> oh, we stand there and wait. Really? They didn't do that before. Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. <laughs> oh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demigod. A demigod? <gasps> yes, terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigoises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used the boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Right, right. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. <laughs> In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. Uh, what's in it for me? Why would I do this? Seems all risk and no reward. Oh, rest assured, there's very little risk and there is in fact a reward. I will teach you a particularly useful spell. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Mm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh. I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> And I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Ooh, okay. And done. Hello, Homura. Wait, how do I cast Hello, Homura? Hello, Homura. Oh, shoot, what?
Press A on R to move the sparks and rotate the dials until both corresponding gears are activated to release the lock. I see. Well done. You're in. Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the castle, after all. Revelio. Ah, huh. this is where one of the keys are. Okay. Hmm, Professor Fig, I am in recent, I am in receipt of your most recent owl. Apologies for the delay in my response. I am still receiving a good deal of correspondence regarding the introduction of the not so recent stooging penalty in Quidditch, which, in Quidditch, which, in my humble opinion, has brought the game into the modern age. Astonishingly, frankly, how many spectators want nothing less than seeing Quidditch keepers flattened entirely? As to the topic of the, your recent letter, we at the Ministry assure that you assure that you that any and all potential threats to Blizzardkind are taken quite seriously. I have a I have made note of your concerns and in as much as time allows, the Department of Magical Law Enforcement will ensure that the matter is looked into schedule permitting. <clears throat> we value the opinions of esteemed wizards such as yourself and you may rest assured that we have matters well in hand. Should you wish, I can have my secretary secure seats for yourself and a quest in this year's Quidditch final. I think you will be delighted to see the results of a well-run and efficient government. The warmest regards, Ferris Spavin, Minister of Magic. Oh, this guy sounds like a dick bag. It has no idea what he's doing. Jesus, is everything locked in here? What the hell? Hmm. Oh shit. Reveals authority figures in enemy locations, allowing you to scout ahead and remain undetected. Revelio. You know what, chat? I am going to sit right here where it just auto saved. I'm going to take a moment to save the game because it is getting late and I am tired. So I'm going to save the game. Y'all are my witness. All right. That said, thank you all for joining me this evening. It was a pleasure to hang out with y'all and have a few little bit of chats that we got in. Um, uh, I will be streaming again Monday. I take weekends off, you know, as is, as you do, as you should. Um, if you haven't yet, go ahead and follow so you get a notification when I'll be streaming again. And if you're watching this over on YouTube, you want to like the video and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and cl click all notifications on the bell. Um, that said, y'all have a wonderful evening and y'all be kind out there and safe. It's crazy out there in the world.